Okay, so someone asked me to have a look at the the last part of this question eleven. Um, the calculation part. That is kind of interesting and also a little bit unclear. Let's have a look. A circular coil enters a magnetic field, moving with a constant velocity of eight perpendicular to the field. That's fine. The problem is, it doesn't specify perpendicular to what about the coil. What I mean is, like, you know, some books or questions would say, like, uh, well, first let me draw the magnetic field to explain what I mean. So let's say we'll draw the magnetic field and we'll draw it going into the, the screen. So perpendicular could mean the coil is like this and entering the field. So the field is perpendicular to the face of the coil. But sometimes with these questions, you look, you're looking at the normal to the face. And in that case, then you would say the coin, the coil would be actually parallel. I think given the information, the question, I think what they mean is how I originally drew it, that it's like a, a coin being slicing through this magnetic field. So um, that's what I think. Be really interesting to see if you agree or disagree. Uh, there's 500 turns on this, and the radius is six. And it's moving uh, and enters a magnetic field, moving with a constant velocity of eight perpendicular to the field. So assuming the field is fixed here, and it's the coin or the coil, I should say, that's moving with eight meters per second. Calculate the time taken for the coil to fully enter the field. So that's our distance speed time triangle. The time is the distance. So if the radius is um where's the radius? Six. This is this is 12 centimeters. Uh, so the radius again, the thing that bugs me believe in certain questions is they're very inconsistent with their significant figures. I mean, it, it seems like the intention of the author was to go with one decimal place and then forgot to do that for the eight. Madness. Um, so the, the time is the distance over uh, the speed. So it's going to be quite a short time. That's... Um, 0 0.015 two significant figures seconds and now the coil would be fully inside the magnetic field calculate the average emf induced so there's a formula here for uh, emf uh, there's two formulas um I think we'll go with the Faraday one. And uh, if we don't care about the direction, I will drop the minus. So that's N, although there is a minus here. The change in the flux over the change in the time. So that's uh, 500. And you can see why they had us calculate the time earlier. So the time for this question is 0, 0.0. One five, and the flux. So when uh, it's flux at the end, minus flux at the start, but the flux here is zero Weber's, and here um, we don't know how many Weber's it is, but we can use the formula B A. Um, so we know that that one is uh, zero. So it's just the flux at the end. Is just going to be B A. I don't care about the minus, so that's 500 times B, which is 4.5 times 10 to the minus 3 times the area, which is pi times the radius, which is 6 squared. Whoops, all over the time. 
times 500 times times 4.5 times 10 power minus 3 times pi times r squared divided by 0 0.015 so again if we go with two significant figures that's 1.7 uh, volts what i got seems like a reasonable answer and then the last one is calculate the average current so that's the v i or triangle so the i is v over r so that's my previous v answer divided by the resistance of 2.3 so that's 0 0.74 amps uh okay hopefully that's right i don't know i'd love to see what you think